Hey pet lovers, this is Liana and I am the owner of Wet Noses Pet Sitting. We're a pet sitting and dog walking company in Northern Colorado. And this is the first episode in our new pet care tips series. So this is gonna be a series where for at least the next six months, every week we are gonna to talk to an animal expert in all different fields. So these are gonna be all sorts of different people, uh, groomers and trainers and veterinarians and all sorts of experts. And we're gonna have them tell us what the one thing that they believe all pet lovers should know. So each week it's gonna be a completely different topic. We're having a really good time filming them um, and people are coming up with some really unique things that I didn't even think of and that are just super amazing. So definitely subscribe or follow us to see all the videos coming up and get alerts, that'd be great. Um, they're gonna be some amazing series that are very exciting and the people we're talking to are fantastic. So our first episode here, I wanted to give you some tips from a pet sitter. So that would be me. So I get to be my own guest for this first week. Um, and my tip is actually that if you work with a pet sitter or a dog walker, ask them questions. So pet sitters and dog walkers, if they're any good, uh, know veterinarians in town. They know groomers. They work with animals on a regular basis and they're gonna be one of the only people who see your pets in your home. So they're gonna be one of the only people that are gonna recognize those day-to-day -day changes, um, any behavior things that are coming up and they're gonna see how your animal actually acts in their normal environment. So definitely utilize us. A lot of times we go into houses and people don't tell us a lot or they forget to mention things to us or they don't ask us questions. So feel free to ask us questions. Let us know what's going on with your animals and any concerns that you have, and we're gonna do our best to help you. So, and any pet sitter should do the same. Whether it be coming up with some research, letting you know something that we know off the top of our heads. Sometimes we can consult with friends or family or people that we know in the community. Um, if worst case scenario, we don't know what to tell you, then we can send you to someone who does. And since we know, and all pet sitters in their own communities should know a wide variety of of the other members of the community, they can recommend something for you. Say like you need a new veterinarian and you're not really sure where to go. Well, we know your pets and we know the vets and we know the area. So we could give you a recommendation for who's gonna be best. So we're gonna have a really good recommendation based on your pet, who we know from working with in your own home and knowing the trainers and things that we can make a recommendation that's gonna be specific for you. And that's gonna be better than you just calling around and looking for someone. So. Definitely remember to tell us what's going on, ask us questions, use our resources, and that way we can help you out. Because in the end, our goal is to make sure that your pets get really amazing care. And whether that's from us when we're doing pet sitting and dog walking, or whether that is from your trainer or your veterinarian or anything, we wanna make sure that they're getting the best care. So definitely check with us. We've got a ton of resources. And this goes for no matter who your pet sitter or dog walker are, they should have resources in their community. So definitely check with them and use them as that resource. So definitely join us for the rest of the series, guys. I appreciate you being here. Uh, subscribe, like, follow us. There's information in the comments as well. So check that out. And we will be here every week uh, to give you more pet care tips. And I'm super excited about everything that's coming up. Thanks for watching.